Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we are going to talk about Lucille Ball. Lucille has been one of the most requested beauty beacons since I started this series and today I finally decided to tackle her. Lucille Ball was a very popular actress in America in the 50s and 60s of the previous century and she is probably best known for her role in the television series I Love Lucy. She played the leading role in that series but she was also the producer and the owner of the production company and in fact with her production company she was a true pioneer in the television world. She was uh, the first to film her episodes with a live studio audience that would, you know, laugh at jokes and clap and all the kind of typical sitcom stuff you see nowadays. And she was also the first to film that way with kind of these um, set studios that would kind of be next to each other and actors could walk between them. So in a way she has really helped to shape the sitcom as we know it today. And for a very long time I Love Lucy was the most popular thing on television just in general. Everybody would watch the series and it was so popular and even nowadays people just still absolutely love her. And now Lucille Ball has a very distinct look that has most definitely become iconic and I think it would only be rightful to call her a beauty beacon. So I'm going to try and recreate her look, show you how to kind of get the Lucille Ball look going on. So let's start with the makeup as always. I am going to start by actually removing my own eyebrows. Lucille Ball has these very iconic high 30s eyebrows. I'm gonna try to recreate that but for that I need to get rid of my own very thick dark and low set eyebrows first so I'm going to use the glue stick method for that. I'm going to take a non-toxic glue stick, one that children use in school, and I'm going to use this to cover my eyebrows and I'm going to kind of try and coat them in an upwards direction. This kind of results in the most flat shape and you'll get the biggest chance of no hairs showing afterwards. So I'm going to go over with quite a thick layer of glue and then I'm gonna give this a couple seconds to dry and then I'm going to smooth it down using just the back of my brush. And then I'm going to go over with a thick layer of powder. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender for this, just dry and I'm gonna really pack that powder on. Then I'm going to, again, wait a couple of seconds, dust that off and go in with a second layer of glue repeat the whole process and I'm going to do this a total of three or four times depending on how thick the layer gets and how much I feel I still need. So when I've done that I'm going to go over with a very strong concealer and just try to conceal the color of my eyebrows. Um, so I'm going to go over with concealer then powder and concealer again powder until my eyebrows are completely gone. So as the last step, I'm going to apply a really thick layer of powder again and just kind of bake this. So I'm going to leave this on for a couple of minutes and then dust it off again. So next up is foundation. I'm just going to cover the rest of my face in some color as well. So I'm going to apply a layer of foundation to even up my skin tone and make the eyebrows blend in a little better. Okay, so after I've powdered off my entire face to set everything and mattify my face, I am going to continue to paint on the typical Lucille Ball eyebrows. So I'm just looking at a picture of her for reference all the time and I'm gonna try and kind of get that same shape and position on my face and of course the most tricky thing of all getting them even. <laughs> Striving for symmetry here. <laughs> no but just take your time with this and try to create that beautiful high arch. So moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to take a matte brown eyeshadow and just apply that on the moving parts of my eyelids and into my crease a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with some false eyelashes. Lucille Ball is wearing false eyelashes in most of her photos, so I'm going to apply some as well, some pretty dramatic ones in fact. So just pop those on and I'm going to try and apply them a little bit more towards the center than I usually would, just to get that very kind of round eyed effect. Then I'm going to take a white eyeliner pencil and line my bottom lash line, and then cover my lower lashes with a little layer of mascara. Okay, so then I'm going to take a peachy pinky blush color and I'm going to apply this right on top of my cheekbones, quite high and quite towards the outside. And then the last thing is the other really iconic thing that Lucille Ball has and those are her lips, those very typically shaped lips. So I'm going to again just look at a picture and try to recreate her lip shape with that very full top lip and just fill everything in with a nice red color. 
So there is the face done, now moving on to the hair. So this is a lot easier to do if you have shorter hair, but it's definitely doable on longer hair as well. We just need a couple of tricks. So I'm going to take a curling iron, a really small one, this is the smallest one I have, I believe it's 19 millimeters, and I'm going to start curling all of my hair and I'm going to start with my bangs. So I'm going to curl them and every time I make a curl with any curl I'm going to pin it down into a pin curl and let it set like that. This is actually just a trick to make pin curling a little faster so that I don't have to wait hours and hours and hours for the curl to set but only a couple of minutes. So I'm going to make a nice little roll and pin that to my head and then move on to the next section. So when my bangs are done I am going to start curling the rest of my hair and I'm going to do that the way I always do by sectioning everything off starting at the bottom moving towards the top and again always pin curling every curl I finished. So when I finish my whole head of hair it looks something like this and I'm going to give this a couple of minutes to completely cool down and set in this shape and when that has been done I am going to start removing my bobby pins and letting down my curls and I'm only going to let down the sides and back of my hair first. So I'm going to leave the top in pink curls for now. So I'm just going to comb through this with my fingers a little bit and then I'm going to smooth down the sides. I'm going to take a brush and comb my hair backwards and then pin it down there with a row of bobby pins so that this section is kind of smoothed towards the back and stays that way. I'm going to do that on both sides. And when I've done that, I'm going to take out the pink curls on the top of my head as well. Everything except for my bangs. If you don't have bangs, by the way, uh, just do this with the front section of your hair. But it is very important, don't skip this step. Okay, so when I've taken all of my curls down, I'm again just going to comb through them with my fingers just really quickly. And then I'm going to start making my hair a little bit shorter. So this is really easy when you have these curls, because you can just bunch the curl up and pin it down and kind of leave the tail. And that's going to make it look like you have a bunch of shorter curls. So I'm going to do that all over my head, starting at the top, working towards the bottom. It takes a little bit of time, but it looks really cool afterwards. So just use a load of bobby pins, but do try to hide them, because you don't want these showing, obviously. Alright, last step is to work on the bangs. So I'm going to take out the pink curls in those as well. You can comb them through really quickly. And I'm going to create this little U shape with uh, my bang roll. So if you don't have actual bangs, you're just again going to make one of those pin curls that we've always done up until now. And uh, just try and form this big roll and form it into a U shape and then pin it down with a load of bobby pins in the center. And there is your Lucille ball look all done. So I really hope you like this video, guys. If there are any other historical beauty icons or fictional beauty icons that you would like me to recreate the looks of, be sure to leave your requests down in the comments below and I will look through and pick someone out for next time. I have another video here that you may also enjoy that you can go watch next. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking here or on the red button below. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!